And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Vladimir Nasus, our first deck today. We got four really sweet looking donation decks today. Maybe not like the most tier one of decks, but they're going to be a lot of fun. That's what we're going to have today. Feeling good. It's Saturday. Um, let's have some fun playing some decks. We're playing them all over in ranked. First one, this is going to be a Sharima deck that is splashing Vladimir, basically. We have six uh, Noxus cards. We got our three Vladimirs. We got one Might and a couple of Culling Strikes. Culling Strikes gonna be good removal. They can pair up with a card like Exhaust to, that can make something uh, have less power, or a Quicksand that can make something have less power. Um, so Culling Strike can pair up both of those, which is pretty cool. But we're gonna be going Golden Ambassador to be able to help find our Vladimirs. Draw a champion, grant it plus two, plus two, so we can have big Vladimirs. Because we, if we have like a bunch of things survive damage, we have a very large regen Vladimir. That could be pretty powerful to have. We also have Siphoning Strike being able to grant our allied champions plus two, plus two as well. So with the with the help of both of those, we'll have very big Vladimir, very big Nasus, and kind of just attack with those and ride those to victory. That's the plan. We have the Xenotype Researchers that can maybe give them plus three, plus three as well. Um, we have just one Might in here uh, to be able to, like, if we have, like, a very big Vladimir, be able to overwhelm over and kill our opponent with that. But then some ways to predict and find our champions, uh, especially after Xenotype Researchers, Chronomancer, Ancient Preparations. We have some card draw with Preservarium. Looks like it'll be pretty fun. We got Reaper as our one drop in here instead of Dune Keeper because it does have the two health. So like with the attack with Vladimir, it won't kill that. Um, thought about going like another way we could have gone with this deck is playing a ton of Sand Soldiers and have like Vladimir attack, deal damage and kill the Sand Soldiers. And so we'd be slaying our own Sand Soldiers before they dealt damage so that it would grow Nasus. That was maybe a little too janky, but I thought about doing that. <laughs> that could have been... Uh, pretty funny though too um but uh as far as we want to have five plus allies survive damage we'll have like sand spinner give something vulnerable hopefully be able to challenge and stay alive same with like exhaust challenge stay alive those things should help level up vladimir but anyway this will be fun let's just play some sharima vladimir over in ranked here we go the blood flows red over the golden sands i like Ariukin. For a mulligan, the six drop Nasuses will keep the two and the three. Culling Strike, awesome against both Lucian and Azir, especially Azir. See what we, see. Sand and blood. we do have a Victor deck, Victor later on. Um, third deck of the day is going to be Lucky Victor, where we're going to be playing Victor with Lucky Finds to give Victor more keywords. They're willing to give that Lucian vulnerable. Interesting. My name will echo through the ages. Interesting. Bring in the heat. Well, I'm gonna play Xenotype Researchers and I wanna play Rockhopper. I can only do one. We'll go with the Hoppa. Because, you know, we want to challenge the Lucian with something. You think this deck should be called Vlad's Doggo? <laughs> wow. Because if, if I go Researchers, I can Siphoning Strike also. But Vladimir is like a good blocker. Okay, they have not had... They haven't had a landmark, right? So they shouldn't have the plus three, plus zero landmark. 
But they, oh, they have sharp sight though. This one's mine. Okay, so they have sharp sight. Play this, we have six mana. Interesting reaction. I'll make a note. Emperor, you taught me to command the sands. I bestow the desert's power to the faithful. Who would dance with me? Delicious. We're never gonna dance again. Yep, all right, there's sharp sight. All right, so we got the sharp sight out of their hand. Another good draw. Uh. Onward. Follow my lead. I assume you'd come for me. I will run you over. What do we got? Ooh, ten ten Vladimir. I don't want to eat whatever woke you up. I take ten ten Vladimir. Pride was my end. So I guess I'll just have like my seven one trade with the five three. I guess I can... Because I can do this and, like, level up Vladimir. Ah, but I have a 10-10 Vladimir in hand. Hmm. This is a lot of damage. Otherwise, I could just have, like, Vladimir just challenge the Bright Steel Protector and not attack with these other things and not have any of these other things die. I guess I'll do this. They say GG's? Like, am I dead? Am I dead? Oh, I have so many Vladimir's in hand, and they're all great. But I can't, I can't play them with one in play. Okay, cool. I'm not dead. They're dead. Dude, Vladimir looked good. Let's go. All right, same matchup. Lucian Azir. It's a popular one. And this is good. Keep it. This Culling Strike looks pretty good against these Azir decks. Maybe we need to play more Culling Strike in general. Dang. These are all great. Well, okay, we're not taking Preservarium because we're going to be playing these things, but I, I could definitely see taking this Golden Ambassador. Um, yeah. Because, you know, like, we'll have, like, these things on turn two, turn three, that kind of stuff. Then Ambassador will draw us, like, a bigger Vladimir or Nasus. There's a chill in the air. A chill in the air, you say. Oh, would you look at this place? This is mercy. Me. 
All right. Interesting reaction. I'll make a note. <clears throat> it's pretty easy for them to use the pump spell to save their thing from cooling strike. My name will you got caught. So they they can still have shapestone for cooling strike, but they can't have. Hopefully no shape zone. They can't have, you know, like, uh, sharp sight doesn't save it. No! That's too bad. Together we are part of wow, what a hand. Together, you are children of Sharia. Wow, what a hand. That really hurt. Having that shape stone, that really hurt. We live in hollow times. Hmm. That's a big Nasus. My shield is yours. Pride failed us forever. No. Uh Okay, good. Okay, that's not a rally. I thought I thought that was going to just be a, a rally effect. That's good. That's not. To the streets, show them the might of our army. Shows of power excite the people and quell our enemies. Yeah. So this got plus five, plus five from Golden Ambassador and Xenotype researchers. They've had a really powerful hand. Like, without this Inspiring Marshal, I'd feel pretty good about this, but with Inspiring Marshal, makes this a lot more difficult. Oh. I guess that's lethal. Yeah, I guess that's lethal. Hmm. That's too bad. Exact lethal, five damage. Yeah, wonder wonderful hand for them. You know, both champions, the shape stone, which was perfect. And then the scout attack and that inspiring marshal. Perfect. Wonderful hand for them. Okay. Let's keep. One, two, three, four. See what we see. Prediction is available. That's a little bit of a different matchup. It's not Lucian this time. It's still Azir, but they're uh, Shadow Isles. So they're going to be, you know, like, so they got Hecarim. They're going to be going with some different Ephemerals. I should be probably attacking for two first. So do I want any, like, it's these first two. We're not taking Preservarium, of course. We're taking, like, maybe one of these first two. I could see me going, like, next turn Xenotype, the turn after having Xenotype plus Shapestone. But I guess I, I don't have, like, I haven't had a landmark. I don't want to eat whatever woke you up. No place for men. Mm. 
right, so these those two are the same. Focus using multiple lenses. Clever. I just improvised on the instructions you drafted. Focus using multiple lenses. Clever. I just improvised on the instructions you drafted. It's like we didn't just hear that. We want the thing that grows last. So these so we'll get three slays. Turn this into a five one. Look at this Vladimir leveling up. NASA's getting much bigger. Wait, was that shark from over here? I wasn't looking. So maybe I mean, I wasn't looking. I guess they may have two sharks. Uh, Caretaker plus Curse Keeper. Still the best combo. Still just the best combo. Would you look at this place? Uh, we'll, we'll play two mana six four. Oh, I guess that's kind of a waste. This will take three. Let's see. So right now, so this would be slay one, two. So that's eight. And then I, if I block here, that's nine. I don't know. The two one doesn't look great against the four three. Or the one one. I have this three one also. All right, we're just gonna take it. All right, decklist is right there. That's the link to the decklist in Mobilitics. You can grab the code right there from that. All right, so I got double shape stone. All right, so I go with the Nasus first. I'm going to shape stone this Nasus, make it 10. No, 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 no. So it'll strike, it will level up, and then give these the minus one, minus zero. But... Looks like that's maybe not the most important. Neverglade Collector, still scary. But we got our Scarabs doing work. Ooh. That's scary. We live in hollow times. Oh, we'll pull two other sharks. So fast. Just one shark? Okay, yeah, just one shark. It's just the same shark that's died twice. You try my patience. It's not safe. Can't spoil our moment. Three and then two. I Don't guess I got a block. It. So we go to five. How do they block this Gnosis on the way back? Gnosis. Okay, that won't do it. There we go. Good job, Nasses. We grow wiser with each victory. LeBlanc Ash. It's always a that's a good deck. And <clears throat> we're trying to make our champions like real big. 
and they have frostbite. So that's not a great combination for us. So Nasus is definitely going to get mulliganed and maybe Vladimir, but I think I'll keep I'll keep Vladimir because we already have like a one drop two drop that we want. Oh man. Whenever I said I'll keep Vladimir, I didn't mean I didn't mean to like have that sentence actually say I'll keep drawing Vladimir. <laughs> They're like, you'll keep drawing Vladimir? Alright, go ahead. It's like, no, 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 I meant I'll just keep a Vladimir. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. Alright, I want a siphoning strike. I want a removal spell like that. Victory requires a sharp blade. Um, it's risky, right? Because again, frostbite. But I can try to. Focus using multiple lenses. I'm trying to not have that be so risky. See if they have troll chant, which they do. Alright, so LeBlanc <clears throat> is basically leveled up. Alright, I think I should use this. Probably just kill LeBlanc or Hearthguard. I guess LeBlanc. I mean, LeBlanc does have the. The whole vulnerable thing. I'll go with this. Your time cycle is done. If I, I mean, I guess if I kill the five five, it doesn't. Yeah, I don't know. That's tough. Alright, so both Nasus and Vladimir are 7-7s. Seven we'll go with the Vlad. This turn. Next turn we can have Nasus plus Transfusion. We fight for one Stand and defend. That could be useful. I hate having to put my face on. We stand in the footprints of paths long trodden. I assume you come from me. You think they'd even just like have that go the other way around so I wouldn't like slay something first? One suffers another. Or like, wouldn't she have the LeBlanc attacking first? Hmm. Well, I guess it didn't matter. With them having the multiple spells. Hey Harden, good afternoon. I wanted to play this first, see if they'd like, you know, spend me out on something else, but. Oh, this works. Oh, that's too bad. I'm 
But Vladimir is now leveled up, so Vladimir will turn back into an 8-8 after taking the 6 damage. How close are we for Mimic? 14 out of 15. Ooh, so close. And now we have this Quicksand. Surprised. Good quicksand. Okay. That's very good. I don't think, I don't think that was a good cooling strike by them. Just because they could draw another like frostbite card that then they could frostbite cooling strike. They save it. Like that that other thing they just killed was just a two three. Mm. Where can I find a full bodied red? Yeah, I guess. Always rely on you to keep us safe. <laughs> no, Witchin. I've just been I've been playing a whole bunch. I've... Yeah, how do we have all the champions? I just I've just been playing this game for like a year. Every day streaming and everything. So been so I've earned them. Yeah, just keep playing. You'll you'll get them over time. My champ's too big. Alright, well that will do. NASA's finish it down. Man, this deck's pretty cool. We're three and one with Sharima Vladimir. Vladimir Nasus. All right. GG's. Um. So yeah, you said you won three with Fiora Felios, then you lost your last three. And that's gonna happen, you know, like especially when you're starting out in the game, Witchin. You know. You don't have to necessarily focus as much on wins and losses. Think of it more as like wins and learning instead of losses. You know, like whenever you lose, you know, like you're going to be learning stuff. Just keep learning, keep getting better, and you'll keep getting more of those wins. But don't don't get like disheartened from losing just a couple in a row. That's all right. It happens to everybody. Just, you know, keep learning. All right, that card will be gone. Shapestone, I think, will be gone as well. Let's just keep the units. You either win or you learn. These old eyes still see far and clear. Would you look at this? Averroes and Sentry is always so good. Answer. Why can't I have you last turn? Will no one listen? I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. You gotta believe me. The block and shape stone. Let's hear it! Oh, 
Well, that didn't work. Wanted to draw a larger champion, of course, and just, you know, keep the card advantage thing going. But we had Vladimir on top. So that didn't work. I'd never keep my guests waiting. Nothing escapes my watch. Observe the price of ambition. Hmm. Fall to pieces. Ready the torches. Definitely looks like Avalanche to me. That's three out of five for Vladimir. The trolls are going to war. The box. That just kills that thing. I mean, I'm going to let that happen. That's going to happen. It's just... I'm considering using Quicksand and Culling Strike to kill this Trundle, and I think I'd do that. Seriously? Try again? been the reason to save Culling Strike, but Trundle would be, a, you know, a big problem with all this stuff, also. I wish this was, like, at least, like, a skill that you could counter with right Negation, right? Uh, the fact it's not even a skill. Time's made me wiser, not patient. Betrayal buried, Shirima. Hope revived it. Come on in! Yeah, they're 20 life and tough. One suffers, another thrives. All right, so that's. Kneel before me. I think that's um, the deal one damage to everything card. I think that's what that is. Yeah, I just, I just don't see how we really win this. I mean, I can kill both of the Ice Pillars, but... If they have more ways to put more of these... If they have, you know, ways to put two more 8-drops into play, this Watcher is just going to kill us. Yeah, I don't know, might as well do this. If only mortals were not driven by avarice and hatred. They will learn just as we did. Two slaves first. Fall to pieces. So I can use the shape stone to kill this ice pillar. 
probably worth it. Yeah, if they have, I mean, if they have Spectral Matron, we lose. I mean, what? I mean, I can't do anything about that. I can't. I can't really like try to play it any differently to to try to play around Spectral Matron. If they have Spectral Matron, we lose. It's just that's how it is. Alright, three and two. Good hand. Alright, so a three and two with Vladimir Nassus. Very happy about that. We'll take a 60% win rate all the time. This one was another fun one to play. I enjoy Shirima as a region. I think that Shirima was really well designed. I think there's just a lot of fun stuff to do in Shirima. And Vladimir looked good with our deck. You know, like we had like our Golden Ambassadors, our Siphoning Strikes, making larger Vladimir's, larger Nassus. Both of our champions were really good at the top end. And then, you know, the rest of the deck, we had good interaction and, and card advantage and stuff. And so it was just a, a very solid mid-range deck. Now, um, you know, when you have like a thing like the Watcher, that's going to be very good against mid-range. And so we saw that was a pretty difficult matchup, it looked like. Um, but besides that, you know, three and one in the other games. And that's pretty good. That's pretty good. We'll take that all the time. All right, so that's Vladimir Nassus. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube... Hit that like button over there, and feel free to leave those comments as well. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this one. This was a pretty sweet deck. If you want to play Vladimir, you want to play Shirima, here you go. These can This can be a pretty good combination. Just try to avoid those watches. All right, but that's all I got here for Vladimir Nassus. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.